I had a weird dream last night. One of my professors told me that I'd never become a physicist. And I woke up in a sweat. He's a nice guy in real life. Really, I think it was me talking to myself in that dream. And a little bit of doubt just turned into a bad dream. Whatever it was, I want to prove it wrong. So that's how I'm starting my day. With a little motivation and some breakfast. A couple raw eggs and some fruit. I don't know if I'll ever get tired of this smoothie. I've been drinking it for about four years now. Still tastes good. Now I'm off to shower. I'm trying to take cold showers now. I don't like cold showers, but I do it just to prove I can. And it feels so good when you get out. This is one of my favorite shirts. I don't wear it too often though. I'm packing my stuff now. I have some papers I'm gonna read on the train. There's about four of them. I usually pack a lunch, but I didn't cook this week since I'm going back home for Thanksgiving. So I'm just buying food today. I got to ride the new red line train today. It feels like I'm living in the future. It's really rare if you get to ride it. So I got really lucky today. It's a good day. I just got to campus. It's around 9 a.m. and it's freezing cold. Since I got here early, campus is still empty. It's a nice feeling. It's quiet and really still. The trees don't have leaves anymore, but I still like how they look. I'm walking to Widener right now. I'm gonna spend my morning at the library. It's warm inside. I love it here. It's like you're walking through a museum. I'm gonna start my morning by getting my finances in order. I have to pay my rent and a few other bills. I also put a little bit of money into the stock market every month. It's not much, but I'm hoping it adds up over time. I know that one day I'm gonna buy a house. And when that day comes, I wanna make sure that I have a little bit of money saved up. After working out my finances, I started reading my papers. They're about quantum error correction. When you run a quantum computer, mistakes can happen. And we use this thing called quantum error correction to fix those mistakes. The trick is, you're allowed to have some errors, but not too many. Because if you have too many errors, you can't fix them fast enough. This is a really popular topic in quantum computing. When I read papers, I try to rederive the formulas I see. It's the only way I can learn. But it's a lot of fun. Now it's lunchtime. I'm going to a ramen shop in Harvard Square. It's a place I haven't been to before. And I'm excited to go. It's still really cold outside. And this actually reminds me of when I lived in New York. Whenever I did well on a test, I'd walk 20 minutes to this ramen restaurant in the middle of winter. Those walks were so cold and my ears would freeze. But there was a trade-off. Because at the end of those 20 minutes was a little bit of happiness. So now, I like to eat ramen on cold days. It makes me nostalgic. This ramen was really good. I wish I ordered more. Now I'm walking to my office in the physics building. There's been a lot of good news today. A kid in my group just finished writing a paper. And I'm really happy for him. He worked really hard on it. And I know he's going to have a lot more in the future. Another good thing happened today. A while ago, I nominated a physicist to give a lecture here. And my advisor just walked in to let us know that the nomination went through. So he's going to give the talk. There was a lot of debate over the nominees but my guy made it through. I'm really happy. Today's a good day. Now I'm back to reading research papers. I'm stuck on one equation, and it's taken me a while to prove it. Before I can prove it, I have to read this other paper, so I'm printing it out. 
It's a really old paper. It was actually written the year I was born. Still pretty relevant though. Physics is like a big mountain. All of the new stuff is built on all of the old stuff. So if you want to do new research, you have to understand what's been done before. So I'm reading through this old paper. And after I'm done, then we can start asking some new questions. I finally found the answer I was looking for. It's right here at the bottom of the page. It only took an hour. I have an appointment with a student in my course. The semester is ending and she wants to do some review before the final. I like teaching this class, so I'm happy to do it. So I'm meeting her in the Lee's Cafe. It's the building where all the labs are. But I only ever go there to eat lunch. It's a nice area with a lot of blackboards. This bridge connects you to that building. And you get a great view. I just met with the student and this is all the material that we covered. Basically, it's a lot of circuit problems. I've always liked these types of problems. It's what got me into physics in the first place. And now I'm running to catch a second half of a talk. It's an experimental talk. Since I came in late, I was only able to catch some of the buzzwords. But I can Google them later, and maybe I can learn something. And now it's dinner time. Since I stayed late, I have to get dinner in the square. I never eat out this often. So today's a bit of a cheat day. I'm going to this restaurant called Pinocchio's. It's got a nice history. Mark Zuckerberg used to eat here when he was an undergrad. I've been thinking a lot about something I learned recently. Apparently, some Wall Street guys retire early so they can open up their own pizza shops. Some guys even do ice cream shops. And I've been wondering why. I guess money can't compare to a childhood dream. A while ago, I met some guy who left Wall Street so he can start his physics PhD at Harvard. I guess that's his version of opening up a pizza shop. I like stories like that. It makes life seem a little bit more exciting. Since I'm visiting my family for Thanksgiving, I want to get tested for COVID, just to be safe. So I'm picking up a test kit. I tested negative, so I'm in the clear. It's late now, and I just got home. I'm gonna keep reading my papers. Let's see if I can prove that bad dream wrong.